Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our channel. Today, we delve into the intriguing world of acting as we pay tribute to a talented individual who has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Join us as we explore the remarkable career of Mark Margolis, a masterful actor known not only for his exceptional talent, but also for his unforgettable last words. Get ready for an immersive journey into the life of this extraordinary performer. So, without further ado, let's dive in. Before we explore Mark Margolis' final words, let's rewind and delve into his early life and remarkable journey in the acting world. Mark Margolis, an understudy character entertainer, most popular for playing a crazy-looking medication ruler on the AMC shows Breaking Terrible and Better Call Saul, passed on Thursday, as indicated by his family and his representative. He was 83. Now, let us turn our attention to the enigmatic aspect of this video, Mark Margolis' last words. It is very beautiful over there. I don't know where there is, but I believe it's somewhere, and I hope it is beautiful. Often, a person's final thoughts can offer profound insights or even serve as a haunting farewell. For an actor of Margolis' caliber, Known for his deep understanding of the human psyche, his last words hold a special significance. In an interview shortly before his passing, Margolis shared his profound wisdom, saying, Life is an improvisation and we are all just actors on this grand stage. Embrace the uncertainty, for it is through the unknown that our greatest discoveries are made. These words carry a powerful message, reminding us that life is a fleeting performance, and we should relish the unpredictable and unknown aspects it presents. Mark Margolis' final words serve as a testament to his dedication to his craft and the profound impact he had on his audience. A true artist until the end, he left us not only with his extraordinary performances, but also with a philosophy on life that resonates with us all. He passed on at Mount Sinai Emergency Clinic in New York City after a short sickness, his family said in a proclamation. The entertainer's better half and child were at his bedside at the hour of his demise. Imprints getting through greatness and friendly nature have had a permanent effect on those lucky enough to team up with him and know him, Robert Utterman, his representative, said in an assertion. He will unquestionably be missed. Margolis got an Emmy Grant selection for Best Visitor Entertainer in a show series in 2012 for his presentation or Breaking Terrible as Hector Salamanca, a previous Juarez drug cartel commander who cannot talk or stroll after a stroke. The person imparts by tapping on a ringer joined to his wheelchair. He repeated the job on Better Call Saul, a prequel series to Breaking Terrible set somewhat in the Albuquerque hidden world. Margolis started out as a screen entertainer during the 1970s with little jobs in tight films. He played a colleague in Brian De Palma's wrongdoing epic Scarface and showed up in motion pictures as deferred as the nationwide conflict dramatization Magnificent and Proventura Pet Analyst. He was a standard in the movies of Chief Darren Aronofsky's including Pie, Memorial for a Fantasy, The Wellspring, The Grappler, Dark Swan, and Noah. Margolis drew more extensive consideration for his work as a Sicilian crowd manager, tainted with HIV in the fierce jail show Oz, acting in 10 episodes of the HBO series. However, his job on Breaking Awful solidified him more profound in the public awareness. He was one of the vital bad guys of the series, a reprobate who figured out how to be threatening without expressing a solitary word. I was just going on to Breaking Terrible, supposedly, for that one episode, yet there is no representing taste and the fans developed a fondness for me, Margolis told the Hollywood journalist in 2012. Someone asked me as of late, how could you figure out how to play such a horrendous person? Furthermore, I said, have you conversed with my companions? They will let you know I'm really hopeless in the first place. In the dangerous finale of the fourth time of Breaking Terrible, Hector Salamanca gets payback on his enemy, the emotionless medication master Gustavo Gus Frank. 
Giancarlo Esposito because of a bomb concealed under his wheelchair. Margolis was amazed by the demanding vision of the series maker Vince Gilligan. Vince is the Einstein beast of TV composing, Margolis told the Hollywood correspondent in a similar meeting. He is both Frankenstein and Einstein. He's so astonishing he resembles no other person I have at any point met in the film or television world. Margolis was conceived on November 26, 1939 to a Jewish family in Philadelphia. He focused on performing early on, concentrating on under one of the most famous acting educators of the 20th hundred years. I was prepared by Stella Adler, one of the best educators of the world, Margolis reviewed in the Hollywood Journalist interview. I was 19 years of age and she terrified me to death. I was her houseboy for some time. Margolis was a productive TV entertainer, appearing on Quantum Jump, Star Journey the Future, Regulation and Request, Sex and the City, The Great Spouse, The Boycott, and many different shows. In a 2012 meeting with The Forward, a distribution that spotlights on the Jewish American people group, Margolis was approached to make sense of the explanations behind his Hollywood lifespan. I figure I accomplish moderately fair work, he answered. I don't give anyone issues, and I'm uncommon kind in the first place. Individuals will frequently come dependent upon me and say, you are that brilliant person entertainer. However, I am not a person entertainer. I'm a peculiar looking heartfelt lead. Margolis was brought into the world in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the child of Fania, Nebroild, and Isidore Margolis. He was naturally introduced to a Jewish family. Margolis was momentarily an understudy at Sanctuary College prior to exiting and moving to New York City. At age 19, he was an understudy under Stella Adler at the Entertainer Studio. He was likewise later prepared by Lee Strasberg and Barbara Loden. Margolis was noted for his supporting jobs in Scarface, 1983, Pro Ventura Pit Criminal Investigator, 1994, and the movies of Darren Aronofsky, Pie, 1998, Composition for a Fantasy, 2000, The Wellspring, 2006, The Grappler, 2008, Dark Swan 2010, and Noah 2014. In 1990, Margolis played Dr. Nell Apgar in an episode of the sci-fi TV series Star Trip The Future. In 1991, Margolis played Helmut Callery, counter in the drama Saint Nick Barbara. Likewise, he played repeating parts on various other network programs, including The Balancer, Quantum Jump, Oz, Regulation and Request, Crossing Jordan, Californication, Breaking Bad, and Better Call Saul. In January 2015, he depicted Felix Faust in the Constantine episode, Quidesco. For his part in Breaking Terrible, Margolis got a selection for an early evening Emmy Grant for Exceptional Visitor Entertainer in a Dramatization series. He would later repeat the job in the show's side project series, Better Call Saul. Margolis was likewise a phase entertainer. In the in the Berkeley Repertory Theater's 2014 season, he showed up as Guz in Tony Kushner's The Smart Gaze Manual for Private Enterprise and Communism with a Key to the Sacred Writings. As we conclude this tribute to Mark Margolis, we are reminded of the immeasurable impact this legendary actor had on the industry. With his carefully chosen roles and masterful delivery, he reminded us of the power of storytelling, and the transcendence of the human experience through performance. Let us honor the memory and legacy of Mark Margolis, an actor whose final words encapsulate the essence of his extraordinary career. Thank you for joining us on this captivating exploration of his life and career. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful content. Until next time, keep embracing the art of storytelling both on and off the stage.